Crystal Jordan, be honest to myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. We are. Welcome to another episode. I like that one. Welcome yeah. to another episode. Pleasant. Felt welcoming. What? That was. A, I mean, you know, for weeks now you've been trying new things. Do you feel like you're at home now? You feel like you figured it I out? I feel like he has a robe. Like he, he, he spoke like he had a robe on and his, you know, his feet were kicked up. It's welcoming. I, okay, because I was yeah. going to say it was pretty good this I time. I sounded like I had a robe. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, Matt, like, like, you know, you were welcoming us to your, you know. You got a robe sound. Yeah. Robe, I, this is my robe voice. Yeah, like you were, you like a Hugh Hefner robe, but a cigar. Like, Hugh welcome. Hefner. <laughs> why, I can't why, be mad at the Hefner comparison. I'm trying no, to figure out why that. she picked that one, though, of all people who wear robes. I mean, he was famous for wearing the robe. Smoking jacket. Yeah, smoke, okay. smoking jacket. That's true. Smoking. Yeah. I'll take that. It's a storm brewing, so I kind of... You'll take... A lot it. going on. Really? You know, I, yeah. went to, I went to one music fest this weekend. Dope. I will never do that again. Don't say that. I will never do it again. No, one music, one music fest was amazing. Shouts out to Jay Carter and his Jay whole Carter team. Jay Carter has an epic and festival every year. Street. It, it's awesome. It was awesome. I have always went with talent... I have never gone as a spectator. I've never gotten a wristband. It had to be in the crowd. Oh, and yeah. went. So I decided, you know what? I'm not going to go. So no privilege this year. With a right. hookup. Oh. I, just, I made a conscious effort. I had a friend from high school come in town, and I said, I'm going to hoof it in here. It was, <laughs> it was long. It was hot. There were a lot of people, and... I didn't like it. There was no bowl of only red M and M's. There was nothing. What? There was nothing. But um, no, no one brought you Fiji water. They didn't ask if you wanted flat or sparkling water. <laughs> there were food trucks that really weren't even food trucks. They were trailers with no, food fair trucks food. are a bomb. There's I never, know that's why I was oh. looking for the food truck, but it wasn't. It was the fair food, like the, when you go oh. to the, the the fair. Like elephant ears. It wasn't ears the truck because the trucks are good. I was right. expecting seasoned meat. Funnel cakes. There were funnel cakes. You can't mess up a funnel cake. I don't, I mean, I, I, so I'm sitting there. So my friend from high school comes in and he has like, a, you know, cause you have to have a clear bag. So he had prepared. <laughs> I didn't know that I'd never done this before. Right. So he had like a clear backpack and a blanket and off spray for, you know, bugs. And I was just like, oh, that's a lot. Like we're really going to be prepared. Right. We needed all of that. Yeah. And the paper towels. Like we got in without though, we managed to skip the line. I did use a little bit of, to skip the line. But then we got in there. I mean, it's just a stage and then people are standing. Right. For miles and miles and I don't miles. Know about miles and miles. It was miles. But... And they were like, they kept wanting you to go back and forth for different stages, for different people. Right? So Big Sean is here and then Miguel is coming. So then you have to walk across. There like, was no golf cart to, to transport you to what? and fro. Anyway, it was long <laughs> and it was it was very hot. It was hot. It was 90, 90 something degrees. Yeah. yeah. Listen to Crystal's tale about going the one time she went slumming. I'm just right. I didn't go so I'm just saying like that is a, that is crazy that people really go out. They're really fans of the music. <laughs> yeah, people actually really, like mm-hmm. these these idiots. I re- I was just like, wow, this is this I mean, kudos to one music fest. Um, so great performers. Two chains closed the entire thing down. Great performers. Lots of fun. You know, any any sophisticated chicks that want to twerk, this is your opportunity. Everybody was twerking. It was just, it was a good time. There was, Did you was, twerk? I mean, I mean, you know, I got into the mood into the mood because it was two chains. I mean, you know, Where's you the got footage? to. There's no footage. Who has footage of I, Crystal twerking? There's or, no footage. Or chicken noodle souping. So, that well, that there is footage of that, unfortunately. So, um, and then there was so there was <laughs> Atlanta Day, so it was Ti, Big Boy, uh, Young Bloods. Like it was just a whole carry. It was a whole Sean fest of, of of Atlanta artists. And then the day before, it was her. I actually know his uh, baby mom. Who? Sean Paul. We're friends. Really? We're, we're good friends from back in the day. Oh, oh nifty fact. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Young Bloods, eighty five South. Hey, hey, but I mean, you know, it's it's, it's um. It's like great memories in Atlanta, you know. If you, they played a bunch of G's. It was it was good, but I, again, it was very long, and it was very hot, and I'm sure my friend was over me by the time uh, 
we you was out there acting weekend. boozy the whole no, time. No, I just I just had never done yeah, that before, was. and I was trying very di- <laughs> diligently not to. But I just did not realize that. I mean, we're out here. <laughs> we're just out here. No there, protection. No seats. No. They won't even let you bring seats in. <laughs> Like no, just a blanket. Did you guys even sit down? We had a blanket. The whole time? I chose to sit down. Mm-hmm. Um, most people weren't. Right. Yeah. They, I mean, just hours and hours. Anyway, Nas closed out the set the first night. Mm-hmm. Um, might I say, quite a, a just a well preserved gentleman. Um, he did address a little bit of he and Khalees. They, you know, I don't know if you guys saw, but. Nas just went in on Khalees for the first time ever on Instagram. In a rap or a No, speaking? on Instagram. Oh, on Instagram. Like, okay. he was just like, I'm sick of this. You need to move on. Because she's taking him back to court for more money. This happened the day before One Music Fest. And Khalees performed the second day. So, oh, so are you on my side now? From back, remember back when we talked about this whole fiasco? Yeah, I did. I, I do feel I was, I might have been, I was wrong. I'll say I was wrong. What? Because Damn, if honest. you read... No, if you read Nas's <laughs> rant, because he did like four posts, but you really could tell this is a post of a man who was just like, nigga, like, what <laughs> do you want from me? Like, I'm, you know, child support. The kid knows you're mad. You're married. What else can I do, sis? He actually called her sis. He was just like, right. you know, I want you to be happy. But I guess because he got some new things going on, so he has he has more money because of this deal that he right. she the went back deal. to court to take him to court for more money. So uh, you know, yeah, that's the old baby mama thing. When they find yeah. out you got more money, can you imagine what yeah. actually led up to to her not being able to get in that house when she got back to L.A.? <laughs> Probably because some shit she did. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not for sure, and I'm not I'm not victim shaming Probably or whatever. Some yeah. shit she did. But for a nigga to put his baby mom out and not give her yeah. access to a home. He, I mean, he went in. He said that she was, she would get in his phone. She almost made him and his, him and his manager split up. Like he was just like, people know that you're evil. Like, and the thing about it, because Nas doesn't talk, like that's right. not how he operates. Mm-hmm. For the fact for him to go on Instagram and do four back to back long posts, you know it's that he's building he's up. He's at a bad place. <laughs> so he gets on stage and he looks amazing. Um, I think, he, I think he's killing little young boys and drinking their blood, though. I don't know what he's doing, but it is working. Would like you his do that for, Would you do that for that? I would. You kill I mean, a little for, boy? For the way that, oh, but the way that he looks is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I, nobody would know. It'd be like a tight... Yeah, tie, I mean, whatever he's doing... It, I like mean, a little tight kid. Very few men have a hairline. It looks the same as with Illmatic. Like, it's amazing. Right. And, you know, he's, he's, he's actually a really good performer. I don't know if he's a performer for festivals. I guess that's what he does, but he plays like classical music and tries to like, you know, impart wisdom and knowledge. I don't really know. I mean, I think that would have been cool like in a enclosed environment with air conditioning. That's just my thought. I think that's his brand and even if you don't like it, you have yeah. to respect it. It is, but that's what that the Atlanta crowd came with him. Like I know a lot of them didn't know the records, but because the music and I think there's such a respect for him, like they 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 rolled with it. So he, he annoys you with it, but you still. It wasn't. No, still... I'm just saying I would have. I wanted it in an air conditioned place with perhaps. Hey, B, you ever you took know. you ever dated a boozy girl and like took her to the hood That's just to watch her squirm? Yeah, I don't think we should say that. I don't think we should throw that word around. I think one what? time I was taking I was taking a, a young lady to Dominique's like retirement game or something, mm-hmm. and she decided to wear heels. And I had already set it up to where we were going to be going down on the court because there was a ceremony that I would gotten access to. And she wore heels, and we weren't sitting down on the bottom. You know, we were sitting a little higher up. So she was pissed because we had to walk down all the steps that she had on heels. And she chose to wear the highest, <sighs> sharpest stiletto. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, She's trying to impress you. We're at a game. So it's like you either got to carry her on your back. No, or... I just got to hear her complain because I wouldn't carry her. Carry Fuck that. That's, that's the alternative. I want to see her walk Listen sideways. Listen all fucking night. I want to see her walk sideways down 40 steps. Like <laughs> that's she what I wanted. <laughs> she didn't. She was trying to impress you. Yeah. Well, did you, did you appreciate that at all? No. Okay. Wow. No. I didn't wear heels. I did wear sneakers. At least you did that. You. Yeah. I mean, oh, I came comfortable, but I'm just saying. Who? Kudos to the concert people. I won't be going to another festival. So back to these little uh, slum dog millionaire boys that you'd be. How many? Like how many? What's your li- like? I didn't say. I mean, I just said if that if there was a case that I could do that and remain young, who wouldn't? I wouldn't. You wouldn't. You would kill little boys and drink their blood. 
You you sacrifice him just for their blood. Where are these little boys coming from? Slumdog India. Like are they Slumdog good millionaire. children? Or are they children homeless. that have already gotten in trouble? No, they're wayward kids. They're homeless. Nobody would miss them. I mean, uh, no. Are You're they, not even supposed to wayward? qualify <laughs> what kind of kid it <laughs> right. is. Right. It don't fucking matter. Right. They're Ask Ugandans. The I'm not. I mean, I'm just. But are, have they gotten in trouble before? Are no, they, they're are, homeless. Nobody knows who they. They're like. They're like the kids. Are they usually. committing crime? Probably. They okay. t- to survive though. Oh well, I don't believe in such a thing. Um, you don't believe that people have to commit crimes to survive in some places? Violent crimes or just crime? Like you stealing, been broke or, stealing an orange. You ain't been broke enough, right? Stealing, yeah, you ain't stealing been an broke orange. orange. Uh-huh. Or I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad if you steal an orange. Tricking the shopkeeper. And if you slit a woman's throat, then you probably on. should die. No, I nobody, no blood. kid who's sitting out and who's wayward and is trying to just eat to survive is slitting somebody's throat. I okay, think. Okay, well, I'm just saying th- some 14 year olds are probably slitting throats. So the the orange or hold stealing people kid. up it, with guns. I don't know. In if Brazil, they're holding people up with guns. In Brazil, they do some crazy stuff. I know those kids that are. Under the thing, yeah. yeah. I don't so know them, about those kids. Overseas, they they gang you in pickpockets. It'd be like eight of them that just rush you and. Well, yeah, I was watching that ninety day fiance. This your guy hands just runs what? out with a machete to rob. Like if you're gonna run out with a machete, you don't really need to be here. Yeah. Where are you gonna go from there? I, 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 well, they don't have guns as plentiful over there. Do you know how scary that is if someone's coming at you full speed with a machete? You mm-hmm. know what's worse though? Here's what's worse, honestly. And and to untie your turkey. They'll wait for you mm-hmm. to to come from wherever you, the tourist people come from, and then they'll they have shoe shine like shoe uh, polish, mm-hmm. but they don't care what kind of shoes you have on. So if you got on Jordans, they polishing them bitches before you can even say no, no. They're already polishing your shit, and then they want money. If you don't give it to them, it's a whole bunch of grown people sitting in the alley, and they'll beat your ass. Yeah, they'll come fuck you up. So you just give them money because it, you see them. <laughs> As you're like little, you know, you start cussing. You look at so the I gotta pay him to fuck my shoes up. Yeah, pretty much. No, that's Again, bullshit. are we able to use? <laughs> go, are we able Amy. to use those plus, those that Let's collagen? <laughs> nah, man. Are we able to get collagen? There? I'm from America, man. You can't fuck up my J's. Nah, Let's go. Bruh. You don't like. Okay, people think being nah, be nah. People think being hard here is in Antalya, Turkey. You not messing with those dudes because they have a different level of commitment. Yeah, there's nothing to <laughs> lose. There's nothing. The to only lie. thing, the <laughs> only thing that slows me down is the fact that uh-huh. I know that it's more of them than it uh-huh. is. Me. No, it could just be no. one of them. I ain't from there. But their, but their whole, the, the whole they know they way around. I don't. Of someone that lives like, like I remember talking to one of my friends that's from some St. Thomas. Is like if you live in a place that there's not a door and animals come in, right. You are totally different than those of us that get upset when we see a cockroach or you know a mouse. But this dude is like raccoons and stuff coming in the house. The door, there's no door. Right, like that. I don't want to fight that person. I've, I've, some Jamaicans have, no, have told me that they yeah. don't exact. They don't have a. There's like cats just come in the window. Not and shit. cats. N- not cats. Cats and dogs. Lizards. Are dem- Lizards, raccoons, possums, and other things right. that are that are not cute and cuddly and don't want to don't want to share. Want to take. No, I don't want to fight a person that grows up like that. No, if your they floor got is also your bed, if your floor is dirt, yeah, and it's dirt, no, mm, bro, I don't want to fight you. You don't have the same level of commitment. You no. have far more to lose. Yeah, you don't even know because <laughs> see over here, it's like okay, a kid could grow up in in the, a poor neighborhood, but he by got chance Jordan. <laughs> he could happen to have Jordan, and he could happen to play basketball and become a multi millionaire. No, 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 over there before that in the projects, he got a PS4. Yeah, he got Jordan. Oh yeah, he got food. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. His mama got a fresh weave every week. So All the time. Like, they probably got a car. They park around the street. You yeah. know, around the corner. Not so over here. There's nothing. I live and die. All their neighbors <laughs> have nothing. Their mom and their mom's mom and their dad's dad and never dad's dad's nothing. dad have never had anything. No electricity, man. <laughs> I, I I definitely agree with you. Poor here and poor there. Totally different. Right. But morality totally here and morality different. there, totally right. different. Right. So I'm going to let them have it. Here, I, I promise, the people who complain a lot have no idea I agree. what the world looks like. Mm. Did I mention to you guys that if you make $34,000 that you're a one percenter? No, you did say that. Yeah, you, thought, you did thought, say that. Yeah. That's like so, crazy. so the 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 median is that is that the low point or is that the median income for the world? No, for the globe. The if globe. If you make thirty four thousand wow. dollars a year, you are a one percenter for the globe. I know the one percenters in America you have to be. Like, yeah, it's a lot higher. It's a lot higher. But I'm talking about for the globe. All you have to make is thirty four thousand, and you are a one percenter. That's how poor. That's what I'm saying. The rest of the world is. So motherfuckers and, should stop complaining. And how spoiled we are here. Right. <laughs> like that's 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 horrible. The rich you, are getting richer, nigga. You the rich. Right, if you're if you make thirty four thousand here, you are laughed at. You are clowned. You know what I mean? And and, and you 
have an inferiority complex when you're around people that are popping bottles. Somebody makes six dollars a year would yeah, fucking eat your skin off of your body if they had to. That's what I'm saying. The level yeah. of morality is totally different. You're not fucking do it. with that dude. I'm not gonna do that. True that. <laughs> I'm not doing True it. That. You can do it. I'm not doing it. I'm Case closed. Shoes. Case Somebody closed. running me with a machete. Hey, whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, hey, whatever you need, take it. Like they may still hit you with it. Yeah. I, 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 it's I, like fuck it. You're gonna suffer a little bit. Mm. You said no the first time. I'm not saying. You gotta that. learn you. I'm gonna get out of there. I'm not. Go- I'm not going any more festivals. And, and on that note, I'm not going anymore. How expensive was that festival? Because if, if it's just standing room only or standing... But it was, well, for a two-day pass, it was like $200. Okay, that's not, yeah. that's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, but it, I mean, it was, it was a, lot a lot of artists. Of artists. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of artists and it's full True. day. And now you couldn't leave once you came. You were stuck. Right. But that's another thing. Like, we're just all stuck in there. Hot. If it wasn't so hot. If they picked a different season... I just don't know if I want to be there that long. Like, I guess... Not to, I, it's funny because my no, friend, I was like... No festivals in the cold. You know, I was like, well, well, come on. Can we have a fall festival? Yeah, fall or spring. Octoberfest. I mean, August yeah. is the worst possible month. In, in Atlanta, Atlanta. The dog days. It was 90-something degrees. Yeah. August in the South is hot as fuck anyway. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Maybe that's it. I'm not a fan of the heat. I was about to die. I know I, he didn't want to go out with me anymore. He just I don't want to take me to more festivals. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah, I he, tried was out, my best. he was out there being. But he was my. We had a good time. But <laughs> I was, was just like, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm overwhelmed with heat. Meanwhile, as a little kid, happy as hell to <laughs> polish somebody's shoes, even though they don't want it in Antalya, Turkey. There were some girls out there twerking in the heat, but no, like they were not. Upset. You got to sweat. Did you? You got to sweat on purpose, though. Like if you're gonna sweat, sweat anyway, you might as well do it on purpose. I thought it was sticky. Yeah, I don't, like it. I don't like that beer smell when it gets old. I don't, that's beer. why I don't like. I don't like. Yeah, that, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that that sweat and urine. I don't like that smell. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know, I don't, about I don't know about that urine. part. I jumped off. I wasn't. That, I jumped off. That smell is. What? I jumped off at that. I point, didn't go but. to any of the outdoor porta potties or anything. I was. Just you didn't like, pee all day. I didn't. I did not. I did not. I told you she was out there being extra. You I know went she, to the bathroom before we left, and I went back at the hotel. I was not. No, I'm not going to no porta potty. Are you kidding me? You guys have a different setup, okay? It's easy for you to go you to the bathroom. Just don't sit on you stand up. I'm not doing. I'm not even going you in there. So wait, 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 what is your bladder doing? You ain't you ain't even take the tissue and just just in strip a it around. The, no, you don't sit down. Man, in a porta potty. You ain't lay it around you, you just to, in a porta potty. You don't lay your shit and then in a just bend your knee. No. Now you got to stand up. I'm not going in there. Letting my shoes touch the so porta potty floor. No. You probably got a UTI now then. I, I don't know. You can't hold that. Oh, yeah, yeah. A woman's I, did, I, bladder. Didn't all, I didn't go all day. Two days. When we leave no, here, went, I'm going to get you some cranberry juice. I went juice. home afterwards and went. <laughs> uh, I'm saying for two full days, though, because you said you went two days. Well, I didn't drink much water before I went because I didn't want to have to go to the bathroom. That's sad. You're so a sad, you're a, you're a sad you person. You didn't drink water. It was 90 degrees. I didn't wanna, you were right. trying not to pass I out. Drank, I drank one big thing of water. See? Right. You get like a cap an hour. Trying. <laughs> I gotta no. savor this. I couldn't, man. I can't. I can't do that. And if I had to leave, I wasn't coming back. So I was like, if I have to go that bad, I'm going to the hotel and I'm not coming back. So let wow. me just chill. It worked out though. Yeah, your dude was like, oh my God. I... No, I mean, he, you know, he had a he good time. He was trying time. to smile. Like, he no, no, you fine. Did he, did you he go to porta potty? Like, no. So you wore off on this guy, like? Yeah. Like, well, he's like a Libra. We're a high school friend, so. Yeah. Wait, wait. Has he texted you since? Well, I mean, we're friends, so it's not like that. But I mean, yeah, we yeah we talked. We, yeah, he said he had a great time. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> I think he probably did. <laughs> he did. I'm good company. Come on, man. We got to jump the line. Hey, oh, that, hey, that, man, that line looked like that line that changes looked like, everything. Shoot, that line was serious. You would have thought so too. I was. I bet the line was crazy. I mean, I love to see the support though. One Music Atlanta Fest supports. is a huge draw. I'm, I'm glad that you I'm know, so happy for them like that. We yeah. saw the that when it started, and I mean, it's it's it was dope. It was huge. It was it was great. People out having a good time. Just no violence, no issues. What's the breakdown Super of the dope. audience? Were mostly white? No, none. Really? None. Pretty much. Nah. <laughs> there was oh, really? so much brown skin, beauty, black girl magic. Uh, shirts and things. You know the the, the idea is that white the black people don't pay for stuff. They don't go to concerts. They don't buy albums and stuff. So but it was they, good. yeah, but they did. I mean, they not only did they do it, but they packed that entire place out. Like it was just a beautiful. Place. It's, like, it's like the Wakanda County Fair. It did. Packed like when Outkast did the last little. Yeah, fr- yeah. that's what it reminded me of. Yeah, yeah. but see, that, but that was at night. Yeah. Maybe they should have done it at night because well, I you didn't can't have an all day festival at night. Then where? Maybe work. you can do it from the night to the morning. Someone should do that. It's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Next year you do one. Yes, yes, yes Smithers, yes. <laughs> Smithers. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, that would be that would be cool. But um, 
We can't. We got to talking about music. I mean, so you know, no Cardi, no Nicki at the festival. Huh? No Cardi, no Cardi was actually supposed to be there. Oh, okay, and but she's somewhere with a lump on her face. <laughs> I bet she did not come. She she well she, she was did actually not in perform New York Fashion Week. Well, she was she actually got off the bill before that. She Cardi was through. not in attendance. Yeah, but well, I mean, she we, was at Fashion Week. She went, that's where the that's where the incident took place. I didn't know that, but come on, let's see that now. Huh? These are, are all my not. And she jokes. was sitting on the front row. What, what are we doing, Cardi? Come on, what you, you keep mean? it real. You keep it real at Fashion Week. I mean, but everybody's on Fashion Week. That's no, not everybody. Hip hop artists, popular hip hop artists, have become. You know, that's become the thing. Not you know, deservedly. Young Thug had a line with, had a clothing line. He was like a, a, the the um, fashion director for a, a really major brand. Yo. Lil Yachty was with Nautica. Like, they, like. <laughs> Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, man. So Harper's Bazaar had a fashion show during New York Fashion Week, and Cardi was sitting on the front row. And Nikki, I guess, was on the front row as well, just separated. So when they went into the party, this whole melee took place. But. So we're looking at this on our phones at One Music Fest, and you know, people were having. There was a lot of conversation. I'm not gonna lie, the majority of the conversation around me, and a lot of these were millennials, really were in support. Was in support of Cardi. You know what I mean? It's just like she got tired. You know what I mean? Nikki has just been going off on everybody, like Travis Scott, Kylie Kardashian. She went off on um, uh, somebody else just recently. Like she just, it's it's too much. You know, she started a radio show to go off on people. Like, yeah, it just feels just to have her own object, uh, her own rants about people. But um, you know, she she's it's- I, the shit that Kai. Excuse me, the shit that that Nikki is doing right now is what I expect from Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's or like funny. Azalea Banks or some shit. Yeah, like, she, yeah, like like she's on that type of thing. Like, girl. Mm-hmm. But to me, the idea that she would well, first of all, I had to point out, and someone reminded me, I pointed out that Nicki Minaj went at Miley Cyrus. Yeah, I remember the that. VMAs a few right. years ago. Like, literally called her, and it was it was very awkward. Like, whoa, kind of like somebody picking on someone not their own size, right? Miley Cyrus is she's Hannah Montana. Yeah, but okay. she's she's right. even worse than that you now. You threatened. No, you got on stage and, and tried threatened. to call out what did Hannah she, Montana. Montana. What did she say exactly? It was it was what's real good. Way. Miley was what's good. good. Like and yeah. she like like that doesn't like and she tried to act like she was tough. It's like you just called out a Disney <laughs> star. Okay, that's probably about seventy seven right. pounds. And whose dad sings country music and who just this is just come on, it, man. It, 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 visually, it's did you see that movie Fist Fight with Ice Cube? Yeah, that's yeah. And the other exactly. guy. Yeah, like, come that's, on, dude. that's what that then is. Then she, yeah. she also people have forgotten. She bullied Mariah Carey on American Idol. You know, we know Mariah Carey's not with the shits. <laughs> she never has been. Nikki was so hateful to her and was. Cur- I mean, that was there was tension the entire time. And Mariah is definitely like a total like deserves respect when it comes to that type of thing. Like Mariah's outsold her and was you know famous before she was probably like in in Pampers. Then one of Nikki's statements. Um, was that she she had a problem with Cardi because Cardi didn't give her the respect she deserved. I'm like, does Nicki not remember a rapper by the name of Little Kim that she didn't give any respect? And she obviously, to me, Nicki's a lot more like Kim. Cardi's not like Nicki at all to me. Cardi's the opposite of Nicki. Well, they both have a, vaginas. That's... They both have, right, and they're both rappers. But Nicki kind of seemed like strip at one point. No, she didn't. No, I don't. Her think... body, she's like a boy. No, I... back when back when Nicki was young, she, she like right, a little boy. Before she got her 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 fake butt and titties. Yeah, and she tried to say that. I think one of the allegations is that Cardi basically had to had to have sex with people to uh, get her records played That's fair. and stuff like that. I mean, first of all, which like... I thought Nicki had. <laughs> You know, some pictures float around the there internet. There were pictures. There were pictures. Of, hey, we ain't forgot. Yeah, but I think she thinks we, we have. Forgot. Even the fact of her saying that that Cardi didn't give her her props, I just found that to be very strange. When there's a whole <laughs> brawl, I mean, you know, between her and Kim, and Kim was very upset. But again, Nikki sounds just like Kim. If you guys listen to the the song that she has out now, where she's going to everybody like Biggie, it's like Little Kim. Right. So. If anything, you're disrespectful. And if Cardi did look up to you, which she had to at one point, because you were the only MC for 10 years, then you taught her not to pay homage to her elders. But you clearly know who's got more money in the video. We do. Because Nikki was behind a wall of... <laughs> you couldn't even see Nikki. You saw like one piece of weave. True. You I, saw, did, I actually did not you saw, see Right. You see a corner, of, a, a corner of pink weave. That's all you see. <laughs> it was... Yeah, and it was you the see all of Cardi B ass. 
<laughs> Cardi's No, this is the second you yeah. see a little bit of her skull. Mm-hmm. But it's very, I was like, can't get faint. to her. It's can't faint. Get to her. And Cardi's showing her whole Cardi's ass. Cardi's so like, shoes and trying to bite at people and get there. She just. But that's some sucker shit because Nikki knows that Cardi's going to respond that way. And it's like she's trying to expose her for. For the like you say the same thing that she was doing, but she's trying to expose her as being something less than as mm-hmm. far as a human. Yeah. When Nikki mm-hmm. came from that same stuff, yeah, you, you and it's just that she 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 picks battles with people that she knows won't respond. Hell so yeah, because she ain't said a damn thing to Remy. Not still at all. Ain't <laughs> she pretend Remy ain't there, yo? And I guarantee like, you that Remy would not be the same as Cardi. I think Remy would have got contact. I think I'm waiting on Remy and Cardi made. to do a record. I think so, and Kim. I think little Kim should be a matter part of fact. In Summer Jam, didn't Rem, Remy? Didn't she bring out like everybody except but Cardi? But Cardi, y'all to get on that train now. I wasn't sure if Cardi was around then or not. She was. But she but didn't she bring was just out bubbling. Nikki. She didn't bring. No, no. She's purposely. It was like the feud mm-hmm. against, right? But Remy is. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't. You can't be considered the queen, but you only challenge people you can beat. Like you're mad because this chick is actually competition. Like. Nah, in the awards, you've been not. against Rashida. Like, Rashida's been on Love & Hip Hop for, what, 10 years now? Damn. And she, they had her in the Are you serious? That's a joke. No, seriously. No, that might like, be legit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, eight, at least eight. At least eight. I don't think Cardi needs to do anything, honestly. Remy, Remy honestly needs Nikki. To make her thing work, mm-hmm. Cardi, Cardi doesn't doesn't, doesn't need doesn't. Nikki or Remy mm-hmm. or any really any of them. She should she just doesn't. continue on all this fighting. Fuck fuck right. Nikki's words or whatever. Right. I wouldn't even take any of these little jabs as anything because she's in a whole different atmosphere. It's yeah. like it's a whole different fan base. Mm-hmm. It's a different. It's a different. She's in a different cr- crew. Like yeah. her her circle is different. Yeah. I, I just uh, I feel like all of this is making Nikki look worse anyway. It it but she's doing it's it herself. It's just making her look worse. She's yeah, doing it, it is. herself. And then for her to come out and say I was mortified, like I was just you know I, as a it's human like a being, white woman. it's like it's like girl, the white woman that acts like you know yeah like you you know you have a problem with people doing things. I'm so terrified. Like yeah. how you gonna how you gonna be bo- uh, bougie and a bully? I want us to get a split screen of her going, Molly, what's good? And then I'm just mortified. Like, right. you mortified because somebody stands up to you? Like, girl. You mortified because you almost got your ass whooped. Yeah, I, I, if, if Cardi had got a hold of her, she wasn't going to let go. She wasn't going to let go. My Cardi is, Cardi a, Cardi is wild. She went, but, I, but the thing about it, and I think people, you know, there was a lot of people saying that they were disappointed in Cardi. I think this is just who Cardi is. She just happens to be one of those rare artists that just is authentic. And I think that's why fans love her. She I shouldn't have been there. I don't think she has any business being there. And Harper's Bazaar. But does Nikki? Well, matter of fact, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Let's be, well, because I I mean, Nikki's fake and that's with, fake shit. Oh, with wow. hip hop, we kind of teeter between what's real and what's artificial a lot. Do we teeter? Yeah. 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 Because even, like, let me be for real, with Harper's Bazaar and the Met Gala, so yeah. on and so forth, those type of events didn't used to include those artists. That's true. I feel like they honestly only include those type of uh, mm-hmm. urban artists, like mainstream urban artists, mm-hmm. just because of the notoriety that they come with. Of course. It helps bring, it helps bring additional eyes and, and more notoriety. A cool to that factor. Event. Cool right. factor. That's what it is. Right. Because 2 chains is here standing with you know, so and so. They they're they're not inviting Cardi B to the White House state dinner or some shit. You see they what may. I'm saying? They may. But no. but Chris Jenner no. was. But they may. But you know Whatever. what? I'm gonna say this is gonna sound really weird. The Kardashians are heavily responsible for that. <laughs> In what way? Because I feel like Kim Kardashian, by them being like this this um her being this idolized um, persona for both sides, like she's white a lightning pop rod. culture, and she's a and lightning then, rod, right? And then for her to be like, oh, this is who I want to be seen with, that right. brings that culture in. You know what I mean? So then it becomes okay if Kim Kardashian, who little white girls love, and their parents think you know she's really pretty and she's that's who they idolize, and she only messes the Kardashians only deal with. Ghetto rappers, you know what I mean, and ball players, and ball, and ball players. players, right? I mean, but there are people in pop, people in urban culture. Then it kind of I've never seen Kim Kardashian with like Chance the Rapper or some shit. No, it's like they want to get the. I mean, Kanye is probably the most. Kanye, you know. but Kanye's always mess. Remember, he was trying to get Freeway and Talib Kweli on the same record. Yeah, but then he right? took a break from that. <laughs> he took a break. He did. He took a but break. But that was his thing. Yeah, that was his thing. Yeah. So wait. So what you saying with uh, like Kim? I think the Kardashians with Kim have having made, that attention <laughs> have made black people cool with the white 
Hollywood crowd. Like, they want to have those. They want Travis Scott to be there. They want ASAP Rocky to be there because this is that, that's considered cool because these girls are saying women dictate what's cool with men. Men dictate what's beautiful with women. So, you know, they get a pass because they're hanging out in these circles with Tyga. Why would Tyga ever be at the Met Gala? I think they just lowered the standard of which black people go. Because, like, you know, Mike Tyson was always in that kind of stuff. Uh, Fab <laughs> Five Freddy back in the day was always that's, in that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know Michael what I'm Jackson. Who? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah. But that's, you know what that's, that's a, a huge, It was a different kind huge of black thing person. between exactly. Michael Jackson and Mike Tyson. Like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Huh? They're both the, the, they're both the, the like, best the, of the top best. of. Yeah, but we're talking about, like, per, per, personas. My, no, no, Mike see, Tyson was getting don't get hell. Don't get Mike twisted. This was a Gary, Indiana kid. I'm talking about Mike Tyson. Uh, oh, well, I mean, but you're saying as far as the level. I'm saying mm-hmm. Michael Jackson wasn't no punk. He was just skinny as hell, and he liked to change his face he up. You think he could have beat He's a Gary Indiana kid. Ain't no soft kids from Gary. Well, he, yeah, he but, was on he, stage singing, He grew up singing, under though. Joe. <laughs> and he grew up under a fucking torture king. He grew king. up under Joe now. Don't... <laughs> well, speaking of that, don't get I got, twisted. before we get into everything, you guys, did, ever, did you guys see the Bobby, the Bobby Brown story? I didn't get a chance to see it. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh was it as good as New Edition? I didn't, I didn't get to see it, it. it. You didn't see it either? I did. Oh my God, I can't have this conversation alone. It's oh the my same God. kid who played the New Edition, though, right? Yeah, the same kid. Uh-huh. Totally different story, right? <laughs> Do it totally different. Oh my God. The Bobby Brown story was like, <laughs> I was expecting the same thing because right. New Edition was so good. This was good, but an entirely, <laughs> entirely different way. Within the first hour, there's a, within the first minute, a murder has happened. And, right. you know, drugs are happening within the first 30 minutes. You, you know, Bobby's getting his mother. Is, we, we realized his mother was moving weight within the first hour. Like, it's a total different story. In fact... But it's a parallel the universe. The new edition story? The parallel universe. It's parallel it's, happening to the new edition it's story. It's amazing but, that right. it's happening. But you know what I realized? Watching that, you guys got to watch it. You realize how big of a freaking star Bobby Brown was. Well, because she, you have the new edition who's five and paled in comparison to this one kid that was just off the chain, but was up and had what two great albums and became like this huge, he was like on top of the world. So social King, media King went R&B. crazy. Social media went crazy because there's a scene where he's having he is. Going in on Janet Jackson, like they're in the bed, and it's a very rough sex scene. It's not loving. And I mean, that's how you gotta fuck Janet Jackson, though. I didn't know that. So, I mean, people were abhorred. And I thought, you know what? Joe Jackson is turning over in his grave because this is not the Jackson reputation that he ever stood for. If he didn't have an. Oh, no. No, but I'm just thinking, like, the Jacksons, we've never seen them publicly in a bad light. Like, and sure enough, so in the in the Have you seen Jermaine Jackson? Yeah, Jermaine He's always in a bad light. A little out there. And he got mad that he, he wrote Toya a song. Too. He wrote Toya. a song. Yeah, but she says she's a virgin. Like, they all act very shy. Have you guys not seen the right. Jacksons act very your shy dad in person? Count, then she's a virgin. And <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, but they water. act very shy and, like, they're like, oh. And in the, in the movie, Janet is sleeping with Bobby, cheating on her husband, Renee, sleeping with Bobby and wants to keep Bobby as a side piece. So in the premiere, Bobby kicks her out in the hallway naked. Now, by the time it went to TV, they had had that scene removed. Somehow, powers that be told them that scene was not going to be available. But social media went crazy. Of course, we see Bobby and Whitney in the, the, you know, the destructive relationship that they've had. Um, very passionate soulmates that just destruct, self-destructed together. And it was really sad. Like it was, but, but I mean, it, it was such a different story. I actually remember Bobby Brown's album, Don't Be Cruel, mm-hmm. when it came out. New Edition was bigger to black people. Bobby Brown was bigger to everyone. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Bobby Brown was bigger to black people too because you got to think it was one of him and he w- he had so much person like you don't know New Edition's personality. We just know that they were like singing songs about love. Britney Bobby Spears Brown, redid for my prerogative. Like yeah, like Bobby was a rock star. Nobody did. Nobody yeah, white did legit. New Edition songs. They don't over. even know them. <laughs> right. They don't know. Count me out. You know how many cool times white people ask me to do that little dance and and every little step. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it? Do I you did do it now? then. I, I don't know. I'm not a chicken noodle soup nigga like you. <laughs> You're not going to catch me on video. Chicken noodle souping in this bitch. Yo. <laughs> Every Dance, <new> nigga. <laughs> right, but that's... Seriously, though. White people loved Bobby Brown. I, I don't look shit like Bobby Brown. Mm-mm, they just wanted to get like, a, That's weird. They just wanted a piece of Bobby. They didn't care he's about black, new edition. He's, he's half black. Let's get him to do it. I mean, <laughs> I could do it. That, really? That's not the, Did you wear the... No, I know okay. biking shorts. I, I never in my life have... You had a slope, though. No, never had, never, had a, never had a Gumby. I had a slope. 
I see, yeah, you gonna, he gonna put that shit I on me. That. I, I did. I had, I had a slow I step. I believe you. <laughs> no, I never had either of those. I believe you. I never had either, but I did rock a shag for too long. For far you. too long. I believe you as well. Yeah, you look like you wore a shag. <laughs> you do. I believe you. <laughs> Reggie Thea is a shag. Like, it seemed like a dude with curly hair always have so a shag glow. or a long ducktail. Like, no, just, never had a ducktail. Duck that when, was too niggerish. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you, you was. You, you he had the shag Like the curly Like all the curly headed boys Cause he's too close To A.C. Slater I know he had <laughs> <laughs> No but like What I'm saying though Is white people Just wanted a piece of Bobby it, Yeah It was a, it was an amazing It was an amazing time For For new addition To be getting shitted on Cause they were There was a bad A better Any heartbreak Man I What, what album's better Don't be cruel Any heartbreak Ooh. That's rough. Oh, shit. That's I gotta rough. give it any heartbreak. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know though. I don't. I don't know hey, about man, that. Nah. How can you singles, stand the rain? How many though? singles came out? Of, more singles came out of. of I don't know. Be cruel. I don't know. Uh, any hurry had uh, boys to men. Let's uh, look at. I, I loved it. I, let's look at the stats, man. Let's look at the stats because that's rough. But, I mean, but Bobby had Tenderoni would not stop. Can you stand the rain? Don't be cruel would not stop. Oh, yeah, don't be cruel. Every that, little step would not stop. Like, yeah, every time you turn yeah. the radio on, it was my... We haven't, even said, I haven't even said my prerogative. Rock like, With You, Tenderoni. Yeah, uh, I think his hits were bigger. I don't think there were that many songs on Bobby's album, though. And, but I'm saying his hits were bigger hits. Well, no I'm, tell, no, I'm telling you, that's what I'm telling you right now, is that white people fuck with Bobby hard, and they didn't know New Edition other than but see, the only, group that Bobby used to be in. They still toured together, though. They, but not after, really. They, they went back and forth. <laughs> but really. this is the thing. Only R&B lovers... Well, in black with black people, only black R and B lovers love New Edition. Right, hip hop dudes loved Bobby Brown. Like hip hop yeah. and R, like everybody loved Bobby Brown and yeah. white folks. So no, I mean, hip hop yeah. people de definitely de you know mess with Bobby. They want I don't know dudes that were like tough dudes listening to Can You Stand the Rain. Like they might have played it at home by themselves, but they would put on Bobby no, Brown. Different, all different. The time. I think it's a different time in music where you could play a slow song in your in your. Your car and people be like you come through the hood. With your girl, no, by yourself. Yeah, well, it, because know. Bobby, I don't. Bobby was thuggish. That's but what the, Bobby's he, attitude. He, he got was girls more, though. Yeah. He got girls. So whatever you did, if you wanted to get girls, you had to align yourself with Bobby. He had the bad boy. He was the first to me, stereotypical bad boy that like. Girl, like he would, you saw there was a scene in the movie where he they told him like you can't do all this sexually suggestive stuff, and he did it any place, any way to go to jail on purpose because he he loved having that reputation. I remember he went to jail in Columbus, Georgia. That's where it was. It was in Columbus, Georgia. Because they yeah. were really R. R. Kelly did too, but uh, my, my grandparents lived why'd there. Why'd you have to throw that light? He on just him? did because every because it was like the thing to do. Right. You go to Columbus. They had like a real. The sheriff was a, was a ridiculous. And they showed that. They yeah. Showed, there's a scene in the movie. And that I, shows I that. was actually I mean, if it was in summertime, I was probably in Columbus. Because my grandparents stayed there, but it was a hilarious. Um, I forgot my point I was gonna make. Uh, dang, I can't remember. So. I, you know what? I'm I'm gonna find these sales, but I I just oh I no no like I think I think don't be cruel sold more. Yeah, I was talking about as far as impact from what like what we know, not necessarily what I the, think Bobby the hits did. were, but yeah. what we think as far as weight of an album. Well, I think I think. Don't Be Cruel was more impactful too because it also introduced that new Jack Swing type because Teddy Riley did a lot of Bobby's records so it, yeah. it, the yeah. sound was different and and that's one of the things that Ralph was complaining about because Ralph's stuff sounded like Come on Ralph I walked to get Ralph's album I was so upset yeah. <laughs> It was one <laughs> song Your Man with Sensitivity That song wasn't a good song It was a slow it, one um, But that's the only song that anyone remembers It was another song It was a slow one Yeah it was another song What? Yeah. What was it? I, I mean we, we're, we exactly. could figure that's out what I'm no, 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 Nobody knows no, what the I, fuck I, the song I, No was. I know but she said Sensitivity and threw me off I promise you it's one of my It's in one of my playlists Like it's one of my favorite songs So I'm telling you It's in my playlist It's in my playlist It's, it's a dope one When we go live When we go live I'm gonna ask Did anybody else know a second song Second song I do and break her heart. Do what I, I gotta do to, and break. I don't yeah. want to see her cry. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that was a jam. Yeah, that was. No. Yes, it I don't was. like it though. No. I wouldn't have it in my playlist. No. But I'm just that saying, was a jam. It's but no, what I was playlist. saying was, no. and then Bobby transcended all that shit because he was really, to be honest. He was what made Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Yeah, I was going to say, and he did Ghostbusters. You guys remember to go? I had yeah. the Ghostbusters, yeah, Ghostbusters maxi soundtrack. single, okay? <laughs> too hot to handle, too cold to hold. I had the, and, and there's a scene in the movie, I don't, you guys, if you haven't watched it, Bobby had more females. Like, there's a scene in the movie he's taping on the Ghostbusters set. Right. They're trying to figure it out. He's having a threesome. He's having a foursome with three <laughs> girls in the back. And the guys out there, like, Bobby was off yeah. the chain. Yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. dated Janet Jackson. Who has Janet Jackson and Whitney Houston? Like, they're like, that's like if somebody had Beyonce and Rihanna, like, at the same time. Like, he was the man. Yeah. And, and, and then, of course, you know, 
the tragedy that happened was was absolutely ridiculous, you know, horrible. His father died, then his mother died, then Whitney died, then his daughter died. Like, he just kept going through. He had a very hard life. You saw so many people around him dying, obviously an addiction that he was able to overcome in jail, but still was, you know, an alcoholic. Like, he just had a really hard life, but he was a freaking rock star. But you know what, Bobby, he's still, after having gone through all those things, he's lucky to still be alive and still be going. He is. And still be loved. Crackheads don't die. Oh, Whitney. (laughs) Whitney did. Yeah, but she was a different kind of crackhead. You can throw a crackhead out of a window and they're probably going to get up and I'm run away. They do, do just bounce. I'm not going to do <laughs> that. Just, they do. I'm not going to. That's not funny. But that that and that the seeing his him, there's two things crackheads don't I'm do not. is lie and die. <laughs> <laughs> I used to know Because a lot of shit That y'all said That Bobby was That everybody blamed Bobby for right. Including Whitney Right yeah, Everybody For years Everybody yeah. held Bobby responsible For Whitney Right mm-hmm. Only to Dawn on you mm-hmm. All of a sudden Bobby was telling the truth Well then Dawn You got we, damn right We saw it And being Bobby Brown We were forced To look it in the eye Okay. I'm sure it's on fire stick. I got to check it out. We didn't try to just believe that because I believe the Whitney Houston that Clive Davis introduced us to. Me too. That was the statuesque beauty. Yeah. I mean, you wanted to. Bodyguard. Yeah. I believe believe all of that wholesome bullshit. You did too. Yeah. You did too. I remember one of my one of my guy friends was like, "There's a song she has on the Bodyguard soundtrack called Run to You,' and he was just like." I just want I just want to take her in my arms. Like, right. She just seemed like an angel. She was just beautiful, beautiful mm-hmm. features and just this a- angelic voice. And then she's cussing people out and smoking and shooting. And then, no, no. And then you get grown and you look at the words of sa- uh, Saving All My Love. You're yeah. like, what the, I thought what about, the yeah. fuck like, song is this? She was a side this chick. Bitch. I'm the <laughs> tripping. Like. Mm-hmm. You realize, cause, because yeah. you, I saw you, you were posting about the, the Bobby movie and you yeah. were talking about how, oh, your, uh, your illusions have that came crushing down. You thought that Janet, Jackson Janet Jackson was so wholesome. That was Janet Jackson. And one of my girlfriends was like, no, Janet was not. I was like, no, I don't, you know, I was a Janet Jackson stan. Like, you still are. Stan. Mm-hmm. I am. You went to the fair you had, you, I did. You, was, you had no idea who you were standing for. Well, I just don't know that he should have put her business out there like that. You know, oh, I mean, she come was, on, man. You know, she obviously had you know, needs, and I don't know that, you know, she fell victim. I don't know. No, because <laughs> you see how you're struggling to fight. No, you know what? Remember how Still she Still don't want to swallow it. You remember how she did Tupac after Poetic Justice? Fuck her. Fuck her. Yeah, she didn't yeah, like Yeah, changing Tupac. her number, that was some Fuck bullshit. Her. She didn't like I Tupac. never. I like Janet Jackson, I like, but I never like how she did Pac. How are you going to date, have Bobby Brown as a side dude and not date Tupac? And, and Pac got to take the AIDS test? Yeah, like it's weird. <laughs> Super strange. And then later get with Jermaine Dupri. Like I don't understand her her thought process. But, hey man, uh, I don't understand a lot of things that women do, especially <laughs> with the choices they make regarding men. But hey, well, you know, that's your life. That's your truth. Do your thing. We're trying. We're trying. Hey, Janet, bless her heart. I leave it alone. She does for always now. seem to end up in the driver's seat, though. <laughs> this guy was like, she went over there, got a, a one of the richest men in the world, and managed to divorce him right after she was able to get all this money. I I don't ever trust. She Jan. managed to. I mean, he was like, she. That's what he's saying. She was strategic enough to do that, so she's definitely been strategic enough. Because she basically told Bobby in the movie that she could not be seen with him in public. Like, right. <laughs> right. well, it really sucks is that dude didn't care that he lost that money. Like he was like, eh. yeah, he was. It was enough. It was, yeah, I have enough left to like. Eh. It's okay. It's okay. Like it's it sucks, okay. it hurts, but eh. not really. Mm. No, it, it I get hurt. another one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll put a mask over her face and we'll continue because she had to wear the garb. She went over there and was wearing the garb. Mm. Oh, she played the role. She did. She played the I role. Mean, Joe, Joe trained them well. Did she when she did her farewell concert? Had she got her her weight in check or was she still? She was super tiny. Teetering, yeah. She okay. was super tiny. Like I was. A See, little she bit does that blow up, get little blow up stuff. That's weird. She, well, it's not weird. I mean, the artist people are judged by their size, and I mean, she's naturally not supposed to be that skinny. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Well, anyway, it was it's a it was a it was a good movie. I, I, there were some issues with the flow of it because so much happened. Like we were an hour and a half in, but only thirty minutes to go, and Whitney hadn't died yet. We were like, well. Well, they need they need to stop doing them on BET. They do because that one in particular needed to be rugged. It needed I to be R rated so. and maybe yeah. TVMA. Yeah, it should it should have been sometimes it could have been longer and you could Netflix go there. Netflix might do it. All right, right after Power because Power's dead. I'm I'm so sick of Power. I was, Are you really? Man, I'm so tired. So what did you think of the finale? Um, I didn't expect it. It was a surprise, but yeah. um, the acting is so poor. Really? I think so. 
Where is Tariq? Okay, we I don't didn't know. see him. Nobody likes him though. Have you noticed that I nobody know. likes this dude? Nobody likes him. But I he, mean, in but, real life, nobody likes him. <laughs> like even him as a real, he, he's Tariq. No matter where he he's goes, played the part and a little people too don't well. like him in real life because they he's don't like his character. The t- it too well. Like, do you watch the show? No. Okay. You don't watch the show, but Power? you look. Mm-hmm. You no. look like the lawyer. You yeah. do. That's that. That was actually a turnoff. Yeah. But he didn't come in until recently. And nah, because everybody wanted to... Like, like, I can't go somewhere without somebody fucking telling me who I look like or, or some shit. Like, I always feel like I have that you conversation. Gotta, you get attention. Just be like, thanks. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, you look like that. I don't even know you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just he didn't watch the show them, because right? somebody said he looks like Sorry, him. I don't know. But I'm tired of that show. Other things to do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't expect... I But the funny thing is... Ghost hollers out when Angela gets shot in a far worse way than he did when, like, he didn't seem that sad when his daughter was. What a woman. I didn't even notice that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Oh he seemed very passionate, but I. Did you, just, did you just do a spoiler alert? Did we give a spoiler? No, it's been out. People have not. If you've been out seen two it, days. Three days. Yeah. No, if you haven't seen it, it's your problem. I'm not going to worry about like, that. Like, you just gave two spoilers away because there are people who aren't even in season five yet or four. <laughs> like, I'm saying. Who's not? Like, there are people who are in season two. And Ain't nobody doing all that. I'm sorry. Maybe next week we'll talk about Insecure now that it. Uh, I, I, I stopped watching that too. That's not good to me Lawrence anymore either. showed up. Yeah, I, yeah, there you go. You think that yeah, show is good? Insecure. You think that show is good? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Well, first of all, the show's only 30 minutes. Eh. So, I so. think it's I think it's that show that like we're supposed to like. No, mm. I don't because mm. I say I don't I'm not that type of girl. Like I get the awkward black girl thing. That's not who I am, but I can re- I can relate to knowing people like that and I realize that's an actual experience. And I think that's not one that we had seen until Issa Rae and you know, show they all black girls can't Finger pop and you know aren't doing that. Some of us are kind of nerdy and you know I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Like I'm I'm not that chick, but I can understand it. I think it's dope. She's it's, the only one like it on TV. Like right. I don't. That's what I'm saying. She's like, saying different. Like way. if you watch uh, eleven hours of Basketball Wives, oh eleven hip hop, you don't see anybody that's just everybody, like trying everybody to figure has out life. A gang of weave and 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 Mac lip gloss, and they and, are and chasing athletes. Super fabulous and rich yeah. and all that. And, and so she's just like she's driving lift. She she, she raps and, and, and she yeah she all kind of she shit. likes rap. She's kind of awkward. She's you know I mean it's 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 real. I like it. She makes poor choices in men. Well, who doesn't? Okay. Who doesn't? I don't make poor choices in men. Do you make poor choices in men, Kevin? I don't make, make poor, poor choices. choices. Yeah, men. not everybody does it. It's only yeah. one, it's only one women. kind of person. Yeah. Women. A woman. <laughs> right. No. Okay. So I I pulled this this article off um, because it, there's actually an article that was circulating social media that explains what wives were. This is the rules and regulations for wives in the 1950s. Because I've been trying to figure out, like, what is this oh, huge shit. disconnect? She's about to put Don't us on trial. It. Yeah. The huge How'd... disconnect between men and women. Like, it seems like men are wanting something and women are wanting something different. And so I feel like this article explains the disconnect in 2018 between men and women. Are you guys ready to go with me? Yeah, turn that mic so we can get all of it going. All right. right. So this is an article that was actually in a major magazine in the... Are you guys, are you laughing? No, no, no. Okay, Not in the yet. 1950s. All right. So this, it was called, it was in Housekeeping Monthly, which was a, a major magazine that was available in grocery stores. And it's called The Good Wife's Guide. Like this was actually printed in, in magazines, right? One, in, in 2018, there wouldn't be a magazine called Housekeeping Monthly. There's still a magazine called Good House. There's one called Good Housekeeping. I believe so. There I is. It's it. out now. That's, okay. the, that's the whitest shit I've heard. But it's there. Still okay. popular, probably. It's there, and we're and we're not. And this is not. This is not cultural. This is just gender based, right? So this is this applies across the board. All women should be like this. This is women wives. Is this like the Stepford Wives idea? That's this is. But okay. I want to know. I want to know after you hear these points okay. if you agree with them okay, or yeah. do not. Okay. okay, straight up. Shoot. Number one is plan the next day's dinner the night before so that you can have it hot and ready for your husband right as he walks in. This lets him know you're thinking of him and care about his needs. Okay? Number two, men are hungry when they come home from work, so a good meal is a part of a proper, warm, welcome home. Number three, about 15 minutes before your husband arrives, take a quick pause to prepare yourself by touching up your makeup, sprucing up your hair, and generally freshing up. He's seen a lot of work weary people all day, so you need to look your best. Okay? Good so far. 
be interesting and engaging for him. His day is filled with boring work, so one of your duties is to provide a lift when needed. A lift. (laughs) Number five. (laughs) Just before he arrives, do a quick sweep throughout the house to clear away all clutter and do a quick dusting. No dust bunnies. Do a quick one. In the winter, prepare prepare and light a fire for his return so he can relax by it. He'll feel like he's in a haven of rest and order, which will give you a boost. Catering to your husband's comfort will provide you with a wealth of personal satisfaction. You'll enjoy it too. Number seven. Prepare the children so that their hair is combed and faces and hands are washed. Yes. Number eight, children are treasures and should behave as such. Minimize the noise when he arrives by encouraging them to be quiet. Eliminate any noises from vacuums, washers, or dryers. Oh, hell yeah. I'm good so far. I Number don't see nine, the problem. Mm. Always greet him in a cheery and positive manner. Give a warm smile and show a sincere desire to please. Number 10. Regardless of what you may need to discuss with your husband and or how important it might be to you, the moment of his arrival is not the time. His conversation topics are more important, so let him talk first. Absolutely. Absolutely. Number 11. Evenings are his time. Do not complain if he comes home late or goes out for dinner or anywhere else without you. You must try to understand that his world is full of strain and pressure, and he needs to be able to relax. Even if you already did all that cooking and cleaning and sprucing, still, if I don't make it home, I don't make it. Number 12. A good wife's goal is to make the home a place of tranquility and calm that her husband can renew himself in. Number 13. Never greet him with problems or complaints. Number 14, (laughs) if he is late for dinner or even if he stays out all night, don't complain. This is minor compared to what he's gone through that day. Absolutely fucking lowly. Number 15, his comfort is your priority. Have him kick back in a comfy chair or in the bedroom and have hot and cold drinks ready for him. How can I choose? (laughs) How can I choose? Number, Number 16, fluff his pillows and take his shoes off. Talk in a low, soothing voice. Low. (laughs) Slow and low. (laughs) Number 17, don't question his actions or judgment. Remember, he is the master of the house and will always exercise his will. What number is that? 17. You have no right to question him. Number 17, like a motherfucker. 18, a good wife knows her place. And that is that is that is the end. It, it is that is the end. That, there could so be it a ended more, with eighteen. Those a, a, a eighteen good, rules. Who wife. says the top eighteen rules? <laughs> like, I, obviously he had more, but are, is he or she? It, I I am assuming that is a man. No, that's a woman. No, that's a she. That was a woman. That's a she. The woman that has guys been, don't think like that. There, there was no fluff. He fluff a pillow. It's fluff these coached. balls. <laughs> fluff these balls. Did you yeah. That's what's missing. Nineteen and twenty surely had to be sexual. You wasting time on these fucking pillows. Right. I got some pillows. But look though, Suck it, it. number seventeen. Oh my god, I don't like being. <laughs> can on I, God? Can I go? Can I go on record and say I don't like being questioned? But even more so by women. Can I go on record? I don't mind. I, I think don't, you are. I don't think you have to ask. I think you just did. And I, and I and I'm and no no offense unless you just really, really want to take offense to it, women. But mm. I I don't know. I just I just feel like like the the dude in Turkey, right? Okay. The commitment level is different for that dude, and I feel like my commitment level is usually going to be different. So don't question me, especially if it's if it's a if it's something if it has something to do with something that a man has to ultimately take care of. You know what I mean? Right. If it's if it's a decision right. that you're that's eventually gonna be my my responsibility. You don't change no damn oil, so don't ask me about what the fuck is well, going why on. Why are you using five thirty? You know, I've heard that five thirty is a little thicker uh, or a little thinner. Like, uh, 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 right. uh. I'm gonna use zero double thirty W thirty. Mm-hmm. Shut it the fuck up. Yeah. No number seventeen. Woo hoo wee. Just let me read it again. No, no, I know so, it so is. It on, okay. I know it is. Don't question me, oh. my nigga. We're probably going to put it at the, all, every single one, we put it at the bottom there. Now, my question, so so what I, what I came to the conclusion, I read the rules and I was like, oh my God, all my guy friends still want these rules today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hold on, hold but, on. But. What the fuck is wrong with a hot meal, <laughs> a clean house. Some quiet, some silence, some tranquility. What? Perhaps a drink. I know you cooked. I didn't make it. What home. the fuck? 
Shall I? Shall I? Shall I begin? What's the by, real question? If you may, did you have a real question? That was, you, you said you had some questions. What's the real well, question? The question is: Although the times have changed, the men's minds have not. However, women have started working. I don't know if either of you have women that stay at home no. all day because that is what women do when they stay at home all day. That okay. was a woman that was at home all day so that when the husband came home, she was preparing the children. She was making sure their faces were washed, making sure she was, you know. But what if she comes home after you? She's, yeah. I mean, how are we going to be able to do that? My um, wife comes home about 20 minutes after me. Okay. So, surely you don't expect any of those things. Well, no. Okay. So, let me let me qualify everything I said right before this. Okay. I understand that the times are different. 2018 okay. is not 1950. Okay. First of all, very few households can survive on one income. Right. So there are going to be some concessions made. Like that's literally seventy. That's literally made? seventy years ago. That's a whole <laughs> right. person living and dying. I agree. So we have to let go of these. Well, no, no, not let go. Let's just use a better word. Not let go. Like Aretha just died. Relax. And she was probably born in fifty. It was it was 1950s when it was was back. Not not let go. Let's relax some of these rules. We have to relax them because I still want a warm meal, and I think that is that's a woman that's a woman's job. I just do. Hey, did you see that blink? I just see, do. Did you see the? I just do. As soon as you say a woman's job, she just no, no. I mean, but also, do you feel like she should not complain to you that you are? I don't like complaining, but I I understand that you know because you're out here fighting these same battles I am in right. the work world. You're gonna have that bitch. I told you that bitch crazy, like the Chris Rock said. Yeah, I understand. That you're gonna want to come home and talk about some crazy shit that happened. Mm-hmm. I get it. It's gonna be some complaints, and it's my job to listen. And you know. Uh, yeah. I don't think anybody Courage. likes likes complaints, but you do ha- like don't whine. When no, you do right, it. don't whine. vent. Yeah. Mm, mm. Yes. Vent. Get it off your chest. Yeah. If you got some shit to say, go ahead and say it. Right. Let me say what I got to say. Right. Right. But there's a certain way that men and women have to communicate to Absolutely. each other. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, there's a certain tone of voice. Oh, this is there's the tone. a certain yeah. yeah. There's a certain tone. There's a certain language that you mm-hmm. have to use. Like I, if I'm nicer to the people that I work with than I am to my wife, right? I'm an asshole. That's a problem. That's true. And if my wife works, <clears throat> if she's nicer to her to the people she works with or her right. customers or whoever, right? That's and true. And then she is to me. Mm-hmm. You fucking tripping. That's true. That's she's an true. asshole. Why can't we keep it even? Okay, yeah, so but here, but does she have to talk in a low soothing? Yeah, voice? I like soothing voice. Here's the problem. See, who doesn't like low like right. soothing voice? Right. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Soothing voice. Here's the real problem. What did women? You say I had a smoking jacket earlier. Yeah, you were. You did have a smoking. Yeah, a soothing, soothing voice. voice. He did. What women do back. not understand about men, and I'm gonna say real men because I think there's a there's a, a uh, different uh, breed. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there's a different breed. What women don't understand about real men is when you bring us a problem, our job is to, to fix it, that right. problem. Right. There's no in between. Like we can't turn that off. Right. So you're saying, well, I don't. Why do you always gotta try to correct my life? And like you telling me all this shit, you're complaining about it. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming you need somebody to come in and cape for you. You need somebody to, to walk you to the the right location and, and give you guidance. And like, what the fuck? That's what my job is. At best, mm-hmm. we're going to say, don't worry, it'll be okay. But that's, that's like what the that. fuck we supposed no, to no, say. No, no, I like that. What I don't understand is when they start to give you suggestions. That won't work, but they think will uh, work. Why? Why do you think it won't work? Because a man came up with it? No, I, no, no, no. I, I, I would actually <laughs> like a guy who has great suggestions, but you know, but sometimes he just wants you to stop talking. He just wants to fix it or you to stop talking. So, well, that's probably because you're whining when you're telling him what you're telling him. Stop whining. But if we don't say anything, if you, if a guy asks you a question. Like a guy, one of my guy friends said, Crystal, you know, what do you want to do? So I tell him, and then he starts to try to fix it for to, and that's, I don't. That's my job. I don't like, but I don't. Don't ask me a question if I don't like what he has to say. I don't. Okay. I don't, you know. You know what? What's funny is the the timing of this is 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 pretty good. I on my timeline, one of my uh, married friends, she said. That something to the effect, I don't remember her exact verbiage, but she said something to the effect of after having been married for a decade, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish I could talk back to newlywed me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The one who who and, and the one who knew it all, mm-hmm. who had all these opinions and was ready to do this and that and so on and so forth. A decade into it, she realizes all that shit wasn't important. Mm-hmm. It didn't necessarily require all that. She would handle things differently. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. But I, I, I think that's everybody that, that wants to have a great relationship, that truly is committed to having a great relationship. Like, you learn 
to, you know, compromise and to be a better version of yourself for that person if you truly are committed to it. I, I want to use the word relax because I think that um, all those rules are still important, mm -hmm. but I think that both people are responsible for them now. I like that. We can yeah. do that. And I so like that's that. why I want to say relax. But I do still believe that, that food should be prepared by my wife. I just, I that's feel fair. that way. But no, I'm going to do the other stuff. Right. I, like, I got fair. my load too. Right. That's fair. Um, Th this was very heavy on the woman. But again, and this, and it's amazing to me that that was, that was actually printed. That would never be printed in a magazine now. Like, that's crazy. But <laughs> it sounds too much like right. Right. It's no, that's too, not it's why. Too sensible. That's no, not why. It is. It no, is. that's not why. Absolutely. Matter of fact, let me give you another it's example. Not why. One of the other it's rules you said. Because women are working all day. The moment I come home. Mm -hmm. The moment. The, you the, moment, the moment. The moment. But you know what? I, I'll say this. Don't come at me with the rah 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 rah. Not the rah rah. Nah, I, I was nah. I was a stay at home mom for like three years, right? When my my son was little because he was sick, so I had to stop working and go home. And at the time, my husband would come. I would be at home all day with the baby who was sick, right? And that was stressful. And, okay, that was stressful, right? And, and my daughter, I'd pick you. up my daughter. And, and, and I, so I, that's Ooh. all I was doing was just like kids and laundry and stuff. And so when he would come home, I would be super happy to see him, like, because I hadn't talked to any adult all day. So I would just, you know. Explode. Talk to him. Fire hose. <laughs> Diarrhea of the And mouth. he would just be like, <laughs> overload. Oh my God. And I didn't understand it because I was really just super excited to see him. Later, when I became the sole provider of my house and I would go to work and I'd come home 12 you hours alone later. for those days. No, and my kids, I come in the door, my <laughs> mm -hmm. kids are like, ah, I'm like, let me just. Let yeah. me just sit down for a minute. Let me. So I understood it after I was in that position. But I would say to you, the person who was at home and not, I mean, literally adult conversation, you miss it when you don't, your, your whole thing is like between the lions and phonetics and doing stuff with little kids. And then you, I just really wanted to, I, it was, I understood later, like, you know, the, the lady on your timeline said, if I knew then, then I would have understood. It's not that he doesn't want to talk to me. He just needs a moment to decompress. But I wasn't trying to bother him or rah rah. It was not like I was fussing at him. I just was super excited to see him, you know, and to talk to him. I'm like, oh my god, okay, he's coming home. So at five thirty, I'm looking out the window like a little kid. Like, where's he at? He comes in. I'm ready to go. Have you ever wondered why dudes spend a lot of time in the bathroom <laughs> on the toilet? <laughs> why do y'all spend? Man, I have wondered because that. that's the only place you can really. Ain't nobody coming in there. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, just, just, just take you your it. time. Slow, slow wow. push. Slow push. Oh Unless god. you got small kids. Unless you got small kids. Yeah, they'll walk small up on kids, there with, yeah. they're they going to okay, push yeah. the door open. Yeah, but yeah. Just, it's just a slow Trying push. Trying to reach under it and shit. You let the colon do the work. You don't even push. Oh <laughs> you don't even disgusting. push. You let the, because like the lazy river and white water. I was like, how are you sitting in there in your own stench? You don't, because you don't understand how peaceful that is, smell is. <laughs> that smell is so peaceful sometimes. <laughs> That is ridiculous. <sighs> this truth, though. I, we that get is, in and get out. When I, I, I never I'm say this. Surprised, I'm surprised that spas don't have more toilets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Taking never say this shit this. is so relieving. I never <sighs> say this, but facts. <laughs> Thanks. That's why we that do is it. Disgusting. We just like to talk to you guys. No. I have a friend. His wife, his wife is with him, and she's off work, so she's with him all day, every day. And he was just like. <laughs> she needs to talk He's like okay Alright So we've been talking For two hours Alright And he's just like And I said you're tired Yes I, and, and you can tell He's trying to But he's just He's overwhelmed I got an inner bathroom And an outer bathroom <laughs> And I lock both doors <laughs> oh, right. You can't talk to me through Unless you're talking to me Through two doors You gotta get through The main bathroom <laughs> door ridiculous. And the toilet bathroom door We would like to talk to you guys <laughs> Text me and I'll eventually get back. I need an outer bathroom. Huh? I need an outer bathroom. You gotta have an outer bathroom and an inner yeah. bathroom. You have to have he that. He said text. The me. guts of the bathroom is where I'm at. Yeah. And then there's the periphery is where she has to stay outside. It's like a force field. <laughs> that's that's horrible. She needs to get a key. She needs to get a key. <laughs> get in there. Okay. Get in there. Nah. Those couples who I don't understand those couples that the people will come in when they're using the bathroom. I've never nah. liked that. But I don't understand that either. I, that to me that that messes up my erection for when sexy time happens. Cause I'm thinking about well, how yeah, like I don't, yeah, yeah I don't, like I don't, I don't, you I don't smell like shit. <laughs> I saw you. Kind of like, like the it. same thing. Um, um, uh, baby wipes and baby lotion. They smell like shit to me, because because I had kids and I, I my my least favorite thing was wiping a kid's ass, <laughs> and so it was always with you know baby wipes and baby lotion to keep them you know yeah. nicely moisturized. Right. Yeah. So my mind just has that trigger in it when I smell baby lotion now on Damn the shit. 
Damn. Yeah, and like women who wear baby lotion, I'm like, you're yeah. disgusting. Women think it's, they think that they're gonna be soft and cute. You've been and, brainwashed, yeah. dude. You've been hypnotized. No, dude, I love the smell of a baby's head. Like baby no. powder smells like, like shit. shit. You've been hypnotized, <laughs> right. dude. Like, That's crazy. It smell like shit. The baby, little baby, <laughs> the baby's head smell like shit to me. I'm, oh, just oh. smell him. Oh my god, it's so wonderful. No, it smells no, like this shit. motherfucker smell like cream spinach. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind it. Though. I didn't mind wiping them, but my least favorite thing is throw up. Like. Throwing up, throw up to me on it because you have to, you have to clean it. It's you. You gotta clean it. You gotta. No one else can clean it. But there's something about something that's been inside someone, rotted, soured, and then come back up. It's disgusting. Either way, it comes out. It's not gonna be good. It's just worse. When How it's do we end way. our show with this? I don't know. Is it my fault? I, it is. It is mm-hmm. because I. Nah, Crystal mentioned throw up on her own. No, but he talking about baby pap, baby yeah, lotion, yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you added to it. Tranquility. Back to tranquility. The bathroom. <laughs> don't leave us. Just leave us alone. It may be an hour. Just leave us. Well, what if she has something to say? Oh, it I makes it sounds it. like in the fifties, women knew how to leave their man the fuck alone. Well, no, that sounds like there were there were rule books, and I think women were in. That was your job. You know, your job was to make sure that you kept him happy, so he kept the check coming watch, home. Watch Mad Men, ladies. Yeah. Let's go back to Mad Men. Well, you guys are gonna have to start earning more. But you know what? As much as as much as people want to say, that, oh, times have changed. Times really haven't changed. Oh no, they've changed. A lot of shit. No, we think it's different, but it's not. Like the sun still rise and yeah, fall. Yeah, but women are men time. now. Women are men. Women are men. No, you mean, no. Yeah. You mean because of the surgeries? No. Women no. are women. No, women go to work and have the same responsibilities as men. There's no, there's no, no gender. That doesn't make no, no. you a man. No, no, stand by. That there's doesn't make no, you a man. I said, no. res- I said the same responsibilities. They don't, though. Women How do not know. Women at work do not have the same I don't responsibilities. Know. I, don't know. I still don't know true. women that take the trash to the curb or Never. cut the grass. What about women that are single? You're not oil changing and shit. Women that are single. Well, first of all, most men don't change oil. Most men don't change. I don't. I don't. I only know you and one other guy friend that changed oil. oil, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't know. That. I thought you changed his oil. I didn't know. No, no, he changed no. oil. I changed oil. I didn't know that. I <laughs> I don't know very many guys that change oil. They take their car just like I do. No, on a special day we actually change it together. It was. <laughs> well, that's nice. It's bonding. bonding. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, but women. I think women. I because re- I've done both. So being a being a stay at home mom and having a husband that takes care of everything, it feels very different than being. The head of the household and handling everything yourself. I experienced the same thing that he did. Good so luck, good I luck, just ladies. Think that, you yeah, know, I, negotiating that list. You can't do all of it and go to work just no, like that. No, that's why I say relax. It has to be relaxed. And and some of those duties now fall on either one, depending yeah, on fluff who's, my pillow. who's carrying. No, I'm, I'm fluff saying, it. I'm, I'm saying just in, in general, though, like, that's a that's a I'm silly saying, one. Fluff the that's pillow. a silly one. Well, I mean, if, yeah. if, having the kids mm-hmm. ready for dinner and like that 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 could be anybody's job. That's not telling a, the kids to shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's you know, Brilliant. I, I'm we great know at that. Dad. We know that's a good dads are good at that. Hey. I'm great at that because dads are great at getting kids to actually shut up. Yeah, I, I use my dad voice. Men are w- women are I not use my good. Dad voice at doing that. <laughs> not when a dad comes home because I offend at least one person a night. So I'm sure in my household. I'm sure one. At least one, I said, and probably more on here. Tears happen. He don't want on here. No, I tell I, people. I think people. Well, yeah, you got a house full of women, though. Yeah, yeah. I think people appreciate I got a house full of boys. That is just so sexist, Which like part? what you just said. Well, it's a house full of women, so maybe he's just offensive. Period. Maybe he's just offensive across the board. No, and women are more emotional. You're more Definitely. likely to cry. Y'all take stuff personally when it's yeah. not about you. Like. Mm. Are we done? Shots, shots, yeah. Are we finished? Or are we done? You see, you see, this is what happens. Now. This is what happens with women nowadays. They just <sighs> <sighs> is we finished or is we done? <laughs> I think we're done and finished. I'm ready to go. So if you like this show, make sure that you share it with somebody. <laughs> um, we want to grow bigger and bigger and better, and it takes you guys sharing the show. So make sure you tell somebody about us. Please do. And if you like the rules, um, chime in. Ladies, if you don't, chime in as well. We love feedback, and um, you can leave that on our Facebook page or, of course, on YouTube, and we will definitely shout you out on the next show. So hopefully we'll get some people to chime in on those rooms. Music Club Life.